ओम ओम सदा शिव समारंभ शंकराचार्य मध्यमा अस्मदाचार्य पर्यता वंदे गुरु परंपरा गुरुर्ब्रह्मा गुरुर्विष्णु गुरुर्देव महेश्वर गुरु साक्षात परम ब्रह्म तस्म श्रीगुरव नम ओं सहना सहनोभुन स वीर कर्वा वहि तेजस्वीनावधी तमस्तु महाविदुषा वहि ई ओं शाति 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 so already we have completed 16th chapter now we are in 17th chapter so as all of you know so we are in the last portion of bhagavad gita the first tampada second means the chapter 1 to chapter 6 predominantly tampada 7th to 12th tatpada and 13th to 18th asipada so when the central theme of this last portion of bhagavad gita is knowledge so mainly i am sorry i have to put little bit battery i think battery has gone out sorry so mainly even though the central theme of bhagavad gita and that to this last shatakam last six chapter is brahma vidya but however the 16 and 17 is exception so we have seen in details how the 16th chapter dealt with this daivasura sampad vibhag so why this was being focused again 17th chapter also will continue in the same way okay because we need to understand i remember life tally is more Uh, sorry lifestyle is equally important lifestyle is equally important for the self knowledge suppose i want to study physics i don't have to have the ambience atmosphere of me being a physicist i can be a crook in high order okay still i can be called a physicist we had a crook okay so missile so the people also possible don't worry okay <laughs> so we have all sort of characters don't worry and uh, also unfortunately uh, yesterday we lost a uh, great person ms swaminathan okay so who brought the revolution with reference to food so who contributed a lot to the world so yesterday he left his body so coming to the point that in order to become a physicist i don't have to have a lifestyle related to physics is it clear <laughs> in order to be a you know chemical engineer i don't have to have a lifestyle related to chemical engineering and the best example in order to become architect i don't have to have I don't know lifestyle of architect. Okay, <laughs> I can be anything. <laughs> Just joke. Okay, but here the Brahma Vidya to understand. I need to have a lifestyle. Without lifestyle, Brahma Vidya cannot be understood. That's why. पूर्व भाग एस्टडे इन द समरी आई वाज टॉकिंग इन डिटेल्स पूर्व भाग कर्मकांड इज बल्की वेर एज ज्ञानकांड द नॉलेज एस्पेक्ट इज एज स्मॉल एज पॉसिबल 
Because if the lifestyle is not there, knowledge will not enter. Now, with this background, now let us look at how this Arjuna asked this question. So that, let us read, so that it becomes easier for us. Arjuna Vajam Yesastra Bidimut Srujya Yajante Sradhyanita Tesha Nishtatuka Krishna Satomahu Rajastamaha Arjuna is very smart. Why and how? Because in the previous chapter, Lord Krishna highlighted Tasmat Sastra Pramanam Te Karya Karya Vivastito Gyatva Sastram Vidhanoktam Karma Kartum Iha Arasi Kartum Iharshashi. So when Shastra becomes the pramana, means the source of what, what is to be done, what is not to be done. Only Shastra, nothing else. Now, Arjuna comes forward, a very, you know, very careful question. And that is how everybody expects, okay? That is how every student does, okay? How to corner? The teacher. <laughs> so whether teacher sometimes you know whether teacher understands or blabbers, okay? <laughs> whether he knows the truth or not. It's a very funny way to observe, okay? Because I can relate with the person who is in the same level, okay? Maybe little bit can be higher. And that too, in one aspect, maybe he or she can be higher, other aspect must be lower or in the same. You understand? Now, Arjuna also is doing the same thing. That's why whenever you get a chance, some of you, okay, you also start teaching me, okay? I also stupidly listen to it. True, true, true. It's like, no. When child sees something new or understands something little bit new and comes and teach, starts teaching parents, what parents do? Yes, yes, true, true. To good, good. Encourage. But the child thinks, look, I know better than my parents. <laughs> However, let us not get into too much. So he asked this question, what he says? Look, that Katu Nishtha. <laughs> Straight eye he puts. I don't want to go around. Katu Nishtha. So what is the status? And why he says, Ye Sraddhaya Anvitaha? He says, you the word. Ye Sraddhaya Anvitaha. So those who are endowed with Sraddha, tu, but, this but is dangerous, but, Utsrujya Sastra Vidhim. So what they do? Give up, but they give up what is prescribed by the Sastra. Means they don't follow Sastra. Let us go as it is, then we'll see in details what does he wants to communicate. Yajante, while performing rituals, ka tesham nishthaiti. So what is their standpoint? And that too, sattvam, is it sattva guna? Rajas, is it rajas, rajaguna? Or tamas, is it tamas? Oh Krishna. <laughs> and this is how everybody expects. Swamiji, you have to tell me yes or no. And the worst part is, already they have assumed what I should say. So if you have already assumed, you have confirmed, then why are you asking this question? Better don't ask, don't open up your stupidity. Do not keep quiet. At least for that, I'll have respect for you. See here, Arjuna has already confirmed 
his answer. Because when Lord Krishna used this word very carefully, with reference to karya and akarya, with reference to karma and akarma, with reference to any sort of activities, Shastra is only Pramana. Other than Shastra, nothing is going to work. Now, Arjuna's thinking is being challenged. <laughs> so when Arjuna's thinking is being challenged, now he wants to challenge Krishna indirectly. You can see this challenging part. So how does he challenge? Hey, I would like to know because he has gone through so much teaching, he cannot ch challenge in a rough way. Uh, so very sophisticated way. I would like to know, what is that? That is, you want to know, the question is what? Kato Nishtha. What is the status? <laughs> the one who performs the rituals means the person who does different duties. But at the same time, having Shraddha. So full of Shraddha, but not keeping with Shastra. So that means what? There is a plus point, there is a minus point. So what is the post plus point? The person is completely ended with Shraddha. Hey, don't ask me what is Shraddha, okay? I cannot translate. <laughs> I am very clear. So if you ask me at this moment to translate Shraddha, I said, okay, I don't have any Shraddha for you, okay? That's all. This is my translation. <laughs> However, so the person is full of Shraddha. But, person does not follow the scripture. Why? We can see the probability. What does he mean? Please understand. If the question comes, the person does not want to follow the scripture, Lord Krishna would have answered directly. You get lost. <laughs> you understand? But, because the question is very tricky, there is plus point that person is full of Shraddha. At the same time, there is minus point that person does not follow the scripture. So why the person does not follow the scripture, that we need to understand. Because the person is illiterate. So, we have to understand here. So, Shastra illiteracy, scriptural illiteracy. Because the Shastra is written in Sanskrit, the commentary is in Sanskrit, everything is in Sanskrit. To understand that, you need some Sanskrit Jnana. So, it's not that easy. So, many people do not understand this. Even though we called as Bharatiyas, especially. So what is Bharata? Bha means Brahma Vidya. So those who are Rataha revel in Brahma Vidya, they are called Bharatiyas, not Indians, okay? So Indians was created by Mahatma Gandhi. <laughs> Confusion, that fellow. We must bring that fellow. Because in fact, I was going through an article. Most of the problem that has happened in India are happening. The root cause is Mahatma Gandhi. Very unfortunate. Now articles are publishing left, right, everywhere. So, Bharatiyas, I am using the word, means, Bha means Jnana, Brahma Vidya. Rataha, those who revel in Brahma Vidya, they are called Bharatiyas. This land is supposed to be land of spirituality, land of knowledge. Supposed to be okay. But nowadays, what happens? This is you no, know, this uh, called uh, um, secularist approach, okay? So, if you can bring a secular person does not follow scripture, will you categorize in which category? 
there is a question comes to the TV channel, we shall get lost. <laughs> we don't have time to waste with secularist. Please understand. A Swami does not have time, does not, must not waste time with a secular person. Like, you know, hey, if this is the case, I'm just stretching a little bit. Oh, some Swamiji's called all religious meet. I'm also going to do it, okay? Don't worry, okay? <laughs> so, hey, look, all religious meet is what? To have fun, okay? <laughs> not to communicate anything, not to arrive at anything, okay? It is just for publicity, wasting people time and money just for some mileage, nothing else. I am very clear, okay? When I do also, I will tell there itself, okay? It's a waste of time. But let us know that we are wasting time and coming together. <laughs> Whereas, oh, all religious lead to the same goal. Please. It doesn't work. But here the question is very clear. Because of scriptural illiteracy, now the person is not able to follow the Shastra. But the person is having full of Shraddha. You cannot question the Shraddha at all. Now please tell me, whatever action he does, including Puja, because Yajante performs ritual the best. Now will you categorize them in the category of Sattva, Sattik Puja, or Rajasik Puja, or Tamasik Puja. I remember <clears throat> for this question very nicely. I met one of the uh, direct disciples of, you know, Akhnananda Saraswati Maharaj. So long back. So he had some two or three uh, sannyasis uh, disciples. So one of them met. A very nice person he was. So, those days, you know, I was a little curious. I asked him one question. I said, Swamiji, as you know, there is no scriptural background for Radha Krishna. This is the exact question I had asked him. Radha Krishna worship. There is no scriptural support. But I see here, you have a small Radha Krishna statue. So how you look at this? In fact, he said, the way I have been brought up still continues. He never sent me whether it is right or wrong. Now when you, I look at that answer, now with this background, let us read what would be the answer of Lord Krishna. So please read because I don't want to take much time to extend this. Sri Bhagavan Uvajan Trividha Bhavati Shraddha Dehinam Saswabhavajan Satviki Rajasi Chaiva Tamasi Chetitam Shruno So, because Arjuna has the question that what the question regarding Shraddha and Lord Krishna answers that there are three types of Shraddha. That's why this chapter name is called Shraddha Traya Vibhaga Yoga. So, there are three types of Shraddhas. Now, Lord Krishna being a teacher, 
he does not want to answer right or wrong as that swami ji gave me answer <laughs> because he knows already i am prepared <laughs> that there is no scriptural support for radha krishna and if he says anything then nightly i am going to argue i am not going to leave him so what did he did the way i was i am continuing <laughs> now with this do i have any answer okay swami ji let us have food <laughs> in fact we did the same thing okay we had do now our prasad that's all after that i have never asked this sort of question to you now in the same way these are the no when you start studying scripture under a teacher that's why the teacher's thinking must be your thinking you cannot have parallel thinking if you have parallel thinking that means teaching will not enter is not synchronized yet it doesn't work who oh, i don't want to be replica of the teacher don't you think it is dangerous so that means you don't have shraddha is very tricky for and how you can see it becomes easier this chapter it will open up many things in you further so he says look trividha bhavati shraddha so if you look at there are three folds of shraddha and for whom he says dehina so dehina means for all human beings for all common people dehina so not for you wise people for all human beings for all common people now he says look not only that so this shraddha is threefold and what are they one is called satvik second is rajasik and third one is called tamasik now he says shrunu tam more you hear about it and interestingly sa swabhavaja this is the most important point it is born out of one's own nature that means lord krishna did not answer directly <laughs> now why it is not answered directly if you observe mind in the next verse it will come further if you observe mind either it listens to somebody externally or it still listens to your likes and dislikes any action that you perform is because of the guidance of someone or you call inner calling what is inner calling insecurities <laughs> like you know we have say, one person said we one cretin okay oh she is my soul mate <laughs> so we have also in pandicherry okay so pandicherry is called soul mate uh, uh, area okay <laughs> so what is that soul mate so i don't know whether s o u l or s o l e okay <laughs> so we have to find out what is that okay <laughs> however let me not get into too much criticizing so here when a person does let us say puja now in puja you need to follow kalpa shastra it's a beautiful point to observe it's not that simply no okay because no technically i have to point out so kalpa shastra means where it says you no know, where padayo padyam samarpayami i do offer some water for feet 
टू वॉस द हैंड आई ऑफर द वाटर अर्घ्यम एंड वे टू वेन टू ऑफर ऑक्सेथ ऑल्सो इज वेरी केयरफुल यू हेव टू डू इट ओके दैट्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग फर्स्ट थिंग इज वेन यू वॉन्ट टू स्टडी कल्पशास्त्र हु आर टू यूज अक्षत अक्षत मीन्स दैट राइस ओके दैट इज मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग डू नो वाई सपोज यू आर सपोज टू ऑफर स्वर्ण पुष्पम आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट बिग थिंग ओके सो यू आर सपोज टू ऑफर गोल्डन फ्लावर यू डोंट हैव वॉट यू डू स्वर्ण पुष्पार्थम अक्षतान समर्पयामी विथ फ्यू राइस यू कैन रिप्लेस द गोल्डन फ्लावर यू अंडरस्टैंड For anything and everything, you can replace with what rice. But remember, with Dakshina, don't do that. <laughs> the priest is very careful and clear. <laughs> Will say, look, don't worry. Keep some akshata. I'll manage everything. So if you are smart, okay. For everything you are he- hearing, what vastar tham akshata na samar payami, puspar tham akshata na samar payami. Sometimes navidyar tham akshata na samar payami. <laughs> then this person understand than and akshatan then he said what dakshinarthan akshatan samarpayami does a long namaskaram <laughs> so what will happen to the priest priest will say never i'll do your puja <laughs> not tathastu it will be other way around okay <laughs> so in short when i don't follow kalpa shastra now what i'll do i will follow my mind is it clear so if today my mind is good that day puja will be good if my mind is not okay that day puja will be you know so that means what you have shraddha not that you don't have shraddha but because you did not follow the kalpa shastra supposed to be done chanting you have to do chanting supposed to offer the jada things you should you must whereas you don't have time i cannot i will not good nothing wrong in it but when you start following your mind now the puja will be decided based on what based on your mind so if your mind is good puja becomes good if your mind is okay puja will be okay if your mind is bad what will happen to puja don't worry it waits some more time i can have one more coffee <laughs> you understand it starts with puja starts let me have one more coffee so i can puja can wait but coffee cannot wait you understand the concept whereas once you start kalpa sutra following kalpa sutra what choice you have that's why lord krishna could have answered very simply if you say a person who follows shastra and having shraddha now please categorize them is it sattvic rajasic or tajas tamasic lord krishna would have said closely his eyes closing his eyes hey eh, of course it is sattvic because shastra always leads a person towards sattva guna please understand shastra shastric injections always leads a person towards sattva guna so when the shastra always leads a person towards sattva guna definitely a person who follows shastra and having shraddha does the anything has to be sattvic there is no choice whereas if the shastra goes somewhere if because of illiteracy not because of smartness so because of smartness if you don't follow shastra means you will not have shraddha like secular people now it is present pseudo pseudo uh, we call as pseudo spiritual is a new word now okay pseudo spiritual so they believe in spirits <laughs> we have a group in india i'm sorry i don't want to bring their name directly they are supposed to be the pioneer of veda 
huge organization, very old organization. In fact, we call them as pseudo Veda followers because they have twisted Veda differently. They don't believe in gods, some abstract sense of God. And in fact, they are against Hinduism. When they talk, open their mouth, they talk against Hinduism. And without Hinduism, Veda cannot survive. Without cultural practices, Vedic knowledge cannot survive. So also this is pseudo uh, spiritual people. So they don't believe in God, they believe in spirit. <laughs> Which spirit? You understand? <laughs> they call, you know, we are spiritual but we don't believe in God. So these people, definitely neither they have Shraddha, nor they follow scripture, but they call themselves that we are Sattvic. We are full of energy. Best example is pranic healers, okay? Secondly, our, what is that group? Uh, this um, Kundalini uh, fellows. We have a list, okay? I can bring a list if you want. So, what is being highlighted here is that now, I need both the Shraddha and Shastra, but now Lord Krishna does not want to answer directly. What does he say? Let us read the verse number 3. It becomes easier. Satvan Rupa Sarvasya Shraddha Bhavati Bharata Shraddha Mayoyam Purushaha Yo yat sreya, sorry, I made a mistake. Yeah, yo yat, yo ye, sorry, what is happening? Okay. Yo yat shraddha saeva saha. Yo yat shraddha, yo yat shraddha saeva saha. See, satvan rupa sarbasya shraddha bhavati bharata. Shraddha mayam ayam purusha yaha yat shraddha sa eva saha. He says beautifully, O oh Bharata. So, because you happen to be in the lineage of Bharata, that's why you are Bharata, and we all are Bharata. Why? Because we are supposed to revel in Jnanam Brahma Vidya. Sarvasya for everyone. Shraddha is Sattva Anurupa. Sattvan Rupa Bhavati Iti. So Sattva means not Sattva, okay? Sattva means mind, according to the temperament. So that means for everyone, Shraddha is according to your temperament. So that means, that's why he says beautifully, I am Purushaha Shraddha Mayaha. Sayeva saha yat shraddha iti. So that means a person consists of his or her shraddha. And of course, he is verily what is his shraddha. Means the person is not different from shraddha. And Shraddha comes from what? From where? So what is the location of Shraddha? Is mind. Why and how? We will see later on. Om Om Purnamada Purnamidam Purnat Purnamadachyate Purnasya Purnamadaya Purnameva Vashishyate Oh, Shanti, Shanti, Shanti.